Right guys, we're doing a YouTube tutorial on how to fix your Sky Remote if it stops working. This is a standard Sky Plus remote, but this technique will work with any Sky Remote. So first you're going to want to take the back off and pull the batteries out. They should just come out. Put them to one side. Now you're going to take a butter knife, so a not sharp knife. I'm just going to twist the bottom and you're going to keep doing it and it will make some funny cracking noises like that don't worry you haven't broken it you're going to do the same to the other side until that happens now when that happens you want to be very careful when removing the front like that so this is the front and this is what will be underneath now you don't need to take the circuit board out, you just need to remove the top. And so the remote is currently broken with the select button. So if you line the buttons up with the board, you can see that this one here is the select button. Now if this is the first time you've taken your remote to pieces, simply taking a cotton bud and rubbing it over the contact like this keep turning it around because it will go black um, and then doing the same to the contact on this side will give you more black now don't rub too hard because you don't want to rub the contact solution off the edge and then it's pretty much putting your remote back together it's just that simple. I don't know why Sky charges, I think these are nearly 20 something pound for something that takes all of five minutes. Now, I'm not going to put mine back together because this is not the first time I've taken this remote to pieces. This is about the 50th time I've taken this remote to pieces. And as you guess, the fix that I just showed you where you rub the back will work for the first couple of times. But eventually, the contact solution will run off the will wear off this side so where this is here this is the select button the contact solution will wear off this little dot in the middle and that will stop it creating a circuit when you press it down so to solve that I'm going to take a little piece of tin foil now why tin foil well tin foil is something I had around the house and it works pretty well I've done this before and it works well. You will need another cotton bud and some glue of some kind. And you have to be very careful with the glue and very careful with the cotton bud. So first of all, we're going to try and get a tiny piece up here. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. And you literally want a tiny square. And I might even have to cut this again. So there is our tiny square. And I reckon I'm going to have to cut this again. So what you can do is drop it on the top of your pin. Or on the back of the button that you're trying to fix. And try and measure it up to see. I don't know, this one's actually... If I can get it to stay off my finger for two seconds. That is about the right size. As you can see, it, it sits well and doesn't come in contact with any other board or any other part of the board by the looks of it. Yeah, that one should work. So now, I'm going to take some of our glue, I'm going to take our little piece of tin foil off, and I'm going to place it down here. For safekeeping, I've just knocked the camera. So as you can see, I've placed it down here for safekeeping. Now we're going to take the rest of our tin foil. We're going to pour some glue on it, some super glue in this case, just enough that we can see where it is, and then we're going to close that up. Now to ensure we get a good adhesion, we are going to dab the super glue on like so. Now 
Now we're going to take our piece of tin foil, try not to get it stuck to our finger. And try to get it to stay on there. Now I'm using the other end of the um, uh, cotton bud to try and marry the point this up with that. Now this will be very fiddly and it might take a few attempts to get it to stay there. Now I've got it to stay there and it's now a waiting game. So you're waiting for your bit of tin foil to stick. Now what's the bit of tin foil going to do? Well if you can see this circuit, if I can get it to stay in the light, you can see that there is actually two S's. And the back of your button is coated in a somewhat conductive solution, which when you press the button down, connects the two S's or F's together. And that's how it knows you press the button down. Now I don't know if just excessive wear in this household, but it does seem to be quite popular that these Sky Remotes fail. So a bit of tin foil, it won't stay there forever. It will probably work for about nine months. And then the glue will wear off depending on how many people use it. And it will fall to bits. Now I'm gonna stop filming. I am going to Wait for this to dry, make sure it's dry. You don't want the piece of tin foil sticking to the circuit board because that will maintain the on position. So we will wait. Right, so now our glue has set. I'm going to take the blunt side of a knife and just ensure that it only is on the circle. This is purely for, you know, just reliability reasons. And now it's dry, you can simply snap your remote back together. So it's just that simple. I usually take a moment to clean. Don't know if I can get that in the camera shot. There's usually a lot of dirt in these uh, Sky Remotes. And I usually take an opportunity to go around it and give it a quick clean before putting it back together. This is purely a not necessary step, but as you can see, your remote can get very dirty on the inside. And it's just a bit of a housekeeping, I suppose. But as you can see, just by going through the buttons, the cotton bud gets very dirty. Right, so we now we've done that. Just want to make sure that this is properly stuck and you can see that it's covering most of the circle it's not covering all of it but it will cover most of it and pretty sure that will work still fine so we're now going to flip this over lay it back down and try and line it up without putting the top on now to put the top on you simply overlay it wiggle it around a little so the buttons all end up in the hole and snap the top then one side then the other and just carry on down your sky remote until you get to the end now this is where it might become slightly tricky i've opened this one a few times and oh there you go it's closed again so now if we put the battery back in and i stop headbutting the camera so battery, battery, well, you can tell the sky remote works because it just blinked. But now pressing the select button you can see the light comes on which means we're getting a good contact. That means our button's working again. So it is just that simple folks. There you go, there's your sky remote, it works just like it used to. When you first got it, you press it very lightly and it works. Perfect. And all for the cost of some super glue cotton bud and tin foil. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time.